let's get started by opening up the Canva app and making sure we change that to Instagram post square size. I think this retains the highest quality. Once you reach Canva, you're going to want to go ahead and search for any type of image you want. For instance, I'm choosing pretty scrapbook flowers. When you have chosen all your images, go ahead and export them all into your photo album. Now go to any app that can make your photos transparent. I use Procreate for accuracy, but you can use any app. Also, just make sure to import all your photos into different layers, but in the same file, if that makes sense. And let's continue by erasing the background with our biggest eraser tool. And when you're done erasing all the backgrounds, export all these images, all the layers as PNG files. You can export it into any file explorer you have. I'm just using the one that comes with the iPad. And now we go on to GoodNotes. We make it split screen with our file explorer. This way it's just easier to um, import all of them at once versus one by one. So here I am choosing my three images and I'm just going to select all and drag it and drop it into the next window. Last thing is to just click done and you'll be done and you'll have all your collection into the GoodNotes app. So let me go ahead and bring this into a bigger screen. As you can see, you click your new stickers and it'll look blurry, but don't fret. Once you click off, it retains its quality, like I said. So awesome. I hope you enjoy your new stickers. If you want to give the algorithm its very own sticker, make sure to leave a comment, hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.